guys, welcome back. So we're gonna meet Pat over at at uh, Mount Pocono. Uh, sun, sun in our eyes the whole time. It appears. We'll go direct. A M P O. Oops. A M P O. There we go. Mount Pocono. Correct. What am I doing? A M P O. Enter. Enter. Okay, we got that. Beautiful night. I don't need these. I'm going to go right into the sun, so I might need those back. Put them over here. We're going to use 3 5 now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. Sky Acres traffic, red, white, blue card, no three mile final runway, one seven, Sky Acres. I already turned, I should have used one seven, I guess I know they're using one seven, the winds are calm. It's okay. Um sorry. So we're gonna take off here. Um, I'm gonna cut the tape. And then I'll put it back on we're ready to land over at uh, Mount Pocono traffic. Mount Pocono, not Mount Pocono traffic. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Pat should be on the channel. Take it up in the air. Okay, so we're gonna do the checklist here. Okay. And I'll be right back with you guys. Hopefully this camera, this camera keeps turning off. I gotta get it fixed. See you guys in a second here. And Sky Acres traffic. Uh, Booty will be holding uh, for landing traffic on 717. Uh, sorry, I already turned to uh, 35. Okay, no problem. Uh, show final one by 17 Sky Acres. Okay. So, we got all that in, we're trimmed, we're good, the cameras are rolling hopefully, they're all working, and uh, going over the sky, um, Mount Pocono traffic, or Mount, I keep saying, what the heck's the matter with me, Mount Pocono, jeez, Chris, come on, get it together, um, full screen that. Eighty-one nautical miles from here, waiting for that traffic. And uh, we're going to go up to 6,500. Uh, 5,500. Okay, and let's go to 259 heading. Sky Acres traffic, red, white, blue card, no, clearly active, runway 17, Sky Acres. Okay. And Sky Acres traffic, anybody uh, short base to final for 35 or 17? And Sky Acres traffic, Mooney, 8, 7 November, taking uh, 3 5 for departure, departing out to the west. Sky Acres. Okay, gas is on. Flaps are 15, trim for takeoff. Plenty of fuel. The wind's actually favoring 3 5. The wind's out there. We're all rolling. Okay, let's roll. All right, good, good, good. Right rudder and full, a lot of right rudder, full power. Here coming up, that's locked in. All right, flaps can come up, trim down a little bit. And Sky Acres traffic, putting left cross wind, uh, three five, Sky Acres. Resnick uh, traffic, uh, Crown Tiger is about uh, seven miles out for runway two two. Looking for a traffic advisory, Resnick. Gears up, flaps up.
the sun setting out to our west. It's cool that power back. And direct FPO. Okay. That's the takeoff. We got a beautiful sun setting of just below the clouds. Beautiful. And Pat, you want one, two, three, four, five? I got you. All right, just a part of the Sky Acres. I'm just uh, going over uh, uh, Hudson Valley here. I'm about 15 minutes away from Mount uh, from Pocono. Okay. Once I level out here, I'll be cruising. How's the weather along the way? Pretty good? You see, very far. Up at like, I would say, 5,000 feet or so. Okay, thanks for that info. Okay, so maybe we'll go to 4,500. Dude, let's go to 4,000. By the way, he said there's some clouds at 5,000, so we'll do that. Okay, so we're looking good here. We're gonna go to Mount Pocono, like I said. We're gonna be pat there. Um, just as a nice, nice, perfect takeoff. Night, night, nice night to fly. And I'm gonna quit the cameras. I got, you know, I don't know how much battery life I have. We'll, we'll turn the cameras off right here, and then we'll pick them back up. You know, I'll keep them rolling until I level off here. Good. Let's go to information. Let's go to recent. Go to Mount Pocono. I already have it in there. Go to comms. All right. It is 120.275. Approaching altitude. All right. Looking good. All right. We're climbing out here. A little hazy. Got some bumps here at 4,000. Got a wind, 9.5 at 2.3. They'll be pushing us like this. All right, level out, 4,500. All right, moving along here. A little bit of a cross-cornering headwind. Some heat on. Twenty-eight degrees up here, man. Oh man. Pat, you on? Uh, affirmative. Okay, I'm at 4,500. Uh, it says the ETA about 30 minutes for me, uh, 72 nautical miles away. Hello, I'm on board 11 minutes. Uh, I'm over the shoulder of your 2,500. Okay, let me know what runway you're using. I'll take a little touch out to ASOS at uh, about 10 miles now. Okay. I'll be on. Well, I still got, I still got 14 miles, though. Copy that. 
Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the cameras off and put you guys on um, in a few more minutes. Uh, maybe I can keep them going um, for the battery life here. Let me see if I can just keep going. I'd rather have you guys see the landing. We'll be there in about 30 minutes. I don't know if these cameras will last 30 minutes. nice system, the Dian Skyview HDX, it gives you the right, you know, you can move this around how you wanted to do it, but it gives you every, all the information in your waypoints on the right hand side, ETAs, your location. It's nice, we're moving. Outside temperature, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything's in the green, we're looking good. Okay. Pat, you on? Must have lost him. Orange yeah, County. Okay, just flying over Orange County. Uh, 26 minutes out. Copy that. Yeah, I'm about uh, 11 hours miles away from uh, Orange County. Okay. I'll see you in about 20. Perfect. Yeah, let me know what runway you're using. Oh. We have weather there. Let's see the weather. So 9 minutes old. VFR. 10, st uh, 10 miles visibility. Overcast. 1,100, so they got to watch out for that. Good. Hey guys, I'm gonna turn the cameras off. When we get closer, I'll put them all back on for you. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, I lost a lot of cameras here. We're gonna we're pretty close here, as you can see, seven uh, minutes away here, 17 miles. It is dark. You can't see anything outside really. Uh, I've got my lights on. I 
hopefully the cameras last. They don't last, folks. I'm sorry. Um, didn't change them at the other airport. And like always, I'll see you guys next time. If I lose you. So here we go. We are 3,500. Traffic pattern out to speed 1,000. Traffic drop at 572 in Lima. We've got 15 miles minutes. The we'll be crossing over the field. Sorry, 15. Downwind, runway 3, 15. 15 miles. The airport in sight, you can see the lights. It is dark out here in Pennsylvania, in the Pocono area. Instruments look good. Carb heat temperature is 49 degrees. I just turned a little bit of the, in the yellow. We want to look for carb ice. There's no moisture right now. Down to 3,000. The cameras are still working. And now Pocono traffic. Good evening. Mooney, 8th of November, is about 10 miles out to the east. It'll be inbound for 2 3. Now Pocono traffic. Pocono traffic, Victor Tango. Left bay for 2 3. Full stop. Pocono traffic. Traffic running to Anima, three miles northeast, crossed over the field for left downwind, runway three, Sussex. Traffic, San Victor Tango, on sign and for two, three, four, seven, on the traffic. traffic, Looney is about seven miles out to the east, inbound for two, three. Not Pocono. Traffic, traffic, Robin, two and Lima, one mile to the east, crossing over the field from the south of the
Atlanta and Mount Pocono traffic. Uh, Mooney is turning final for 2 3, but about a uh, three and a half mile final. Mount Pocono traffic. Mount Pocono traffic, San Victor Tango leaving at the roadway. Mount Pocono traffic. Okay, gas is on undercarriage. Mixture coming in. Well guys, I lost two cameras that have the audio, uh, so I have no audio from here on in, unfortunately. Um, I did not change the batteries when I was at um, the other airport. Uh, but we are flying at night here in the Poconos in Pennsylvania, and you can see it's pitch dark down there. And uh, flying at night in this type of terrain area is like flying continuous IFR. So you're always on your instruments. We're going to switch camera views. There we go. We're in the cockpit now. And we are on a short final for 2-3 at Mount Pocono. And you can see the strobes at the beginning of the runway coming in right now. Uh, but places like even in Florida, that the swamp areas down in Florida, when you're flying at night, it is pitch dark. And you got to rely on your instruments to get you where you need to go. Uh, but here we are, short final, checking the gear, flat for full, uh, gas is on. Uh, gas undercarriage mixture prop and speed is the uh, way to go when you have a complex airplane. Um, so I checked the gear again just there. We're coming on in. Strobes are going. That makes you blind sometimes. And we're going to bring her on in. A nice greaser here. And the landing lights coming in obviously 2 3. And we are going to touch down. Um, and we're going to meet Pat over. He's a mount. Uh, more aviation. He's getting a, uh, a G5 put in and a couple odds and ends over at uh, Moira Aviation. And we're going to go pick him up. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for flying along um, and to support. Uh, Facebook is almost 19,000 followers on Facebook. Thank you so much. I'm on Instagram at PilotFund101. And any questions you guys might have, please don't hesitate to email me at pilotfund 101 at gmail.com and if you're looking for some uh, merch some shirts some mugs uh, you can also visit believe it or not my website at pilotfun101.com well guys so next time fly safe be safe and i'll see you guys on the next one and also remember to always reach your goal see ya